Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Sports Hub Central. I am your host, Chad M. And I'm Emily Nerland, and we are back with an NFL episode, and we cannot talk NFL without talking about the refing situation and the atrocity that has been left in its wake. Goodell is still not divvying up for these refs. What do you see for the future of the 2012 season? Well, first of all, let's let all the viewing audience know exactly what the problem here is. It all comes down to the pension in which these uh, referees are looking for, and the main argument that Godell has is he doesn't want to pay them that amount of money because they're deemed as part-time employees. Generally, larger pensions go to employees that are more involved with the company there on a full-time basis. Which he has a point because he also doesn't have to divvy up at this point because the only thing that the NFL has is fans. Nobody's going to just stop watching football. They have, people are either college fans or they're NFL fans and they have that base. They have the biggest base in the United States. They they have betting even if Vegas gets mad, if the players get mad, if the fans get mad. Goodell knows he still but, has a market. Yes, no, that's all is true, Emily, and I don't disagree with that for one second. As the fans, we are somewhat to blame for it. But at the end of the day here, I don't want to hear all these comparisons to other pension plans and big corporations in the world. The NFL is not just your standard business here. We are talking about a multi-billion dollar conglomerate that rakes in the profits like no other business can come close to. So you know what? For an extra couple million dollars, make these referees happy because it's quite clear that the product of what we're getting right now with the referees is an absolute atrocity. And you know what? It's not even so much the calls on the field that drive me nuts because we know the regular refs make tons of mistakes. It's how it's handled. It's the fact that after every Every single play, they're not sure. There's a 10-minute conference. There's 800 more commercials. They don't even know what the rules are half the time. I if Godell has the nerve to bring these guys in, at least let them learn the rule book and know what's what. I think that it's something that can't just happen. They can't just learn it. And things are going to get worse before they get better. It's not something you just But how up. do they allow guys to go out there and not do the research to know that someone would be a Saints fan of potentially refing that game? They did, they did how, do the how, research how to find out and did not let him ref that game. So that they're should trying not to happen. have some on this. before the game. Absolutely, it shouldn't be happening. All of this shouldn't be happening, but the biggest problem is that it's going to have, the players know this is happening. They see the uncertainty in the refs, and it's almost a broken window. They're, they see it, and everybody's pushing it from either side, and things are going to get worse. Who knows? The fact that the integrity of the game and the outcomes of the game might get dictated by these calls and these missed calls and these botched calls, and there's going to be continued frustration from every which side and Goodell who's supposed to be the grandfather of this league trying to instill integrity and the and whole time about, and he's the whole safety it. thing I thought here's a guy that's talking about cleaning up the league with all the hits to the head the roughing the passer the weak pass interference calls because he doesn't want to have future lawsuits because of these players getting banged up well now he's completely contradicting himself by bringing in refs who are allowing all these melees to happen during the middle of the game and more more physical altercations after the whistle that is going to create more safety issues. It makes no sense stopping so cheap, Godell, out of the billions of dollars that this league generates. Just give them an extra couple million dollars, even if you don't end up getting the best deal for the owners. Touching on injuries as well, at the end of the Giants Bucks games when Eli Manning was taking a knee, the Bucks rushed him. Do you call fair or foul? Were they able to finish that play? I see nothing wrong with uh, what Greg Schiano and his Tampa Bay Buccaneers did on the football field on Sunday. The predominant reason here is there are 60 minutes on the clock in football, and to expect a team to just quit because someone took a knee is absolutely absurd, and I don't care about the unwritten rule of the sport. So you don't care about the sportsmanship at all? Do you think that he would Sportsmanship? Yeah. Well, if there's sportsmanship, then why are people you know, on, on opposing teams telling uh, their, their other players to go fuck themselves every five minutes? Yeah, but that's just because someone else is going outside the box, and someone else doesn't have sportsmanship doesn't mean that everybody has to. And the fact that Coughlin would not do that, and that doesn't happen in the league, for them to go and do that and injure potentially their most valuable player to have him out there and to have him getting run at, I think it's just something that if you see it happen time and time again and all of a sudden this happens, what if he were to have gotten injured? Okay. Then would okay. you, then would what you have Well, said. let me ask you this, Emily. What happens if Eli Manning gets injured at any other point during the game? Should they not go after him then? No, because it's a different situation. It's a different point in the game, and that's something that's been happening in the NFL for years, and it doesn't happen that way. So when you have but a gentleman's agreement that you're going to be doing something... A gentleman's way, agreement? Yes. Obviously, Shiano is either not a gentleman or he doesn't agree to it. I think it could be a case of both. 
But the thing that I have the biggest issue with is if it's such a safety concern, which is the number one thing that a lot of people are raising the point here of is, then why is Eli Manning even in the game anyways? Get your high-paid backup quarterback to come out and take a couple of knees. So if someone gets decked, at least it's not him. I guess for now, we're going to be the ones taking a knee. Be sure to check in next week to Sport Hub Central to see all of our NFL talk.